Ah, a Pyrenite sand bar. More like a rumor. I've been traveled thousands blocks for it. Anyway, now let me buy an ocean map. Gonna get some prismarine bricks for my build. Ocean monument. I'm coming. Ah, I see. It should be somewhere around this shore. Wait, what? Is this the new biome that has been rumored about on the internet? That's awesome. Luckily, I brought some gear and stuff for further exploring, so we can go on an epic adventure here. So how's it going guys? I'm Swan, and welcome to my video. Alright, now let's step into this dreamy papyrinite sandbar. So, as you can see, this place is filled with dreamy shades of purple. You can easily find and gather a ton of amethyst here. Let's go down deeper and focus our attention on these ores. So, the research shows that these ores are called papyrianites, and they possess a magical energy with three main uses. However, what we didn't know is that collecting papyrianites is a bit tricky. In normal situations, you can't just mine it directly with any pickaxe, or else it will only drop regular cobble stone. The correct way to collect it is by clearing out blocks around it, and then you can mine and get it. However, this mining process is never smooth sailing. Similar to silverfish, Envenoma likes to live in sand stones, and more likely around papyrianites. So, whenever their cozy home is destroyed, they will pop out and kill the destroyer. They are also like cave spider. Anyone they attack will be poisoned and continuously lose health. Once you kill them, there's a chance they will drop a shell, and I'll explain it its purpose later on. Alright, now let's get back to papyrianite. Firstly, one of its uses is that it can be decomposed into two pinches of papyrianite powder. You can then combine them with certain vanilla blocks to get these fantastical papyrianite thin blocks. Before I move on to its second use, let me introduce the second hostile creature on the sandbar. These hovering raptors in the sky are called Shadow Voucher. They are usually hostile and will attack intruders in groups, dealing high damage. When you try to attack them, they teleport steps away and dodge your combo, making it hard to kill them. Killing them will have a very small chance of dropping their claw. And now we can use Envenomous Shell Claw of Shadow Voucher, Papyrianite, and Go Ingots to craft Papyrianite Ingots. Now here's the best part. Now you can use Papyrianite on a smithing table to upgrade vanilla diamond tools or armor and get Papyrianite ones. The base attributes of the tools and armor are identical to diamonds, but the notable difference is that they often come with additional enchantment levels. For example, a sword may have a chance to be enchanted with sharpness 6 to 9, while a pickaxe may have a chance to be enchanted with fortune 4 to 5. All tools and armor may have a chance to be enchanted with unbreakable breaking 4 to 6. However, its additional enchantment levels can only be applied to a single enchantment on each item. With these high-level enchantments, the Papyrianite tools and armor become exceptionally powerful. Now let's take a break. So these update ideas are actually inspired by one of my subscribers, Little Fox. Shout out to him. So if you have more great ideas, please don't forget to leave them in the comments. There's a chance I'll transform your ideas into reality. By the way, I've got some awesome mods that I've been working on and I'm gonna release them for your to play, like the Mushroom Class. So if you don't want to miss them, please consider subscribing to my channel. Before we dive into the third use of the Papyrianite, let's take a trip down to the nearby river and you'll spot another fascinating creature there. And it's called Crabworm. According to Litterbox research, these Crabworms are friendly and have a thing for hauling rocks. Usually, they randomly pick up nearby blocks and laterally transport them to the riverside creating their old cozy little nest. These adorable fellas can handle all sorts of rocks, even obsidian. When the crab worms hide inside their shells, depending on the type of shell, every 4 to 7 in-game days, they share their old pincers and leave them outside the shell. So what's the purpose of these shells they produce? Well, you have the option to eat them and gain haste effect for 3 minutes, perfect for your mining process. 
Now here comes the most exciting part. You can also choose to combine the pinza with netherite ingots and claw of shadow voucher to craft a rock shovel. The rock shovel is an amazing tool for builders. It can instantly pick up any mineable blocks and you can place it back down by right clicking. These blocks include obsidian, glass and even chest. The rock shovel can be a real time saver when it comes to building. I gotta say, this shovel is absolutely fantastic. Wow, time flies. Before we wrap up this adventure, I'm gonna give an other shout out and thank you to Little Box. Thank you for sharing your cool ideas. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have more great ideas, please leave a comment and let me know. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.